course of action our next chapter for logical reasoning a course of action is a procedure to deal with a situation in such type of questions a situation is presented in the form of statement and possible course of actions are given we need to choose the one which is feasible that is practically possible universal and logical these questions are designed to test decision making ability now let's see some points that should be kept in mind first point correct course of action should either lessen the problem or improve the situation created by the problem second point simple problem must have a simple course of action and not a complex one which may create more problems than to solve or reduce it third point course of action should be possible and should relate to the practical aspect of life and hence the given problem each course of action question below is given a statement followed by two courses of action numbered 1 and 2 you have to assume everything in the statement to be true and on the basis of the information given in the statement decide which of the suggested courses of action logically follows for pursuing now let's see some examples example 1 here the statement is a large number of people in ward x of the city are diagnosed to be suffering from a fatal malaria type and the course of action which are given are the first course of action the city municipal authority should take immediate steps to carry out extensive fumigation in ward x second course of action the people in the ward should be advised to take steps to avoid mosquito bites now clearly prevention from mosquitoes and elimination of mosquitoes are two ways to prevent malaria and here both these points are given by the first and the second course of action so here both the courses of action 1 and 2 will follow second example here the statement is severe drought is reported to have seen in several parts of the country now the course of actions are first course of action government should immediately make arrangement for providing financial assistance to those affected and the second course of action food water and fodder should immediately be sent to all these areas to save the people and cattle now if we talk about the first course of action then providing financial assistance by the government to all would put undue burden on the country's resources and also when it comes to money then distributing money equally is another chaotic activity so the first course of action cannot follow but the second course of action will definitely follow because in the break out of natural calamity the basic duty of the government becomes to provide the basic amenities essential to save the lives of people and cattle so here only two will follow next example here the statement is since its launching in 1981 vayudyut has so far accumulated losses amounting rupees 153 crores and the course of actions are first course of action vayudyut should be directed to reduce wasteful expenditure and to increase passengers fare second course of action an amount of rupees 300 crores should be provided to vayudyut to make the airliner economically viable now here the first course of action sounds to be reasonable because for any better economical gain losses should be reduced and income should be increased but as far as the second course of action is concerned then giving financial support to any loss making entity is never a economically viable solution hence here course of action 1 will only follow next example here the statement is mr x an active member of the union often insults his superior in the office with his rude behavior and the course of actions are first course of action he should be transferred to some other department second course of action the matter should be referred to the union now in this case none of the options can be an answer as even if he is transferred to some other department the rude behavior is not going to stop and also he is an active member of the union so the union must be aware of the behavior and this course of action is simply off tangent so even this cannot be the solution next example 
Here the statement is a large number of people die every year due to drinking polluted drinking water during summer. And the course of actions are first course of action the government should make adequate arrangements to provide safe drinking water to all its citizens. And the second course of action says the people should be educated about the danger of drinking polluted water. Now this situation demands creating awareness among the people about the danger of drinking polluted water so that they themselves refrain from the same and at the same time taking steps to provide safe drinking water. So here both the courses of action will follow.